Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Leo Beaulieu. Uh, I'm with the uh, Children's Design International Collection. And today in this short video, we have a special guest. We have a special guest uh, from Los Angeles, actually. She's a grown up. She's a visual artist. Uh, and uh, she will be telling us about some of the objects she made, what she made while she was a child. Her name is Lisa Ann Howback, and she's with me today to have a little chat with us. Hello, Lisa Ann, welcome. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome, welcome, and thank you for accepting this invitation today. Welcome. We're very glad you're here with us. Um, first off, you're an artist, you're a practicing artist, and you are based in Los Angeles. You have exhibited um, in like, hundreds of places, if not thousands. And today uh, we are introducing uh, quite a, um, an interesting character. We're introducing a puppet that you made while you were in grade four. And okay, this looks huge, but actually this is an image of the puppet, right? The puppet is very tiny, right? So tell us a little bit about that puppet, um, why and when you made it. So I made this puppet of, it's Jimmy Carter. And they made it when he was running for the US presidency in 1976. And it was a project, a school project, where we made puppets out of a toilet paper tube and a light bulb. And you would stick the light bulb into the tube and then paper mache on the outside of the light bulb. And then over the toilet paper tube, you would put like a, you know, some fabric. So he's wearing a, a kind of a velvet suit that's just glued on. And I think I, I was interested in a, um, the idea of elections and democracy. You shared also a letter, a letter that you wrote to Jimmy Carter in mm -hmm. a school book. Uh, did you write the letter before or after making the puppet? After the puppet. The puppet was made when he was running for office and I would go around. He was, he ran as a peanut farmer and I remember him having this big smile and always going around saying like, hi, I'm Jimmy Carter, please vote for me. And so with the little puppet, I would go around saying, hi, come go vote for me, you know. The, the letter I wrote after he was already president. And so that was a few years later, that was 1980. So that was in the end of his presidency, actually. And it yeah, I noticed that you talk about um, fuel energy and you talk about the ecology and the importance of, of investing in a new economy in that letter, which is very well written, by the way, because uh, your, your teacher only correct one verb <laughs> on the yeah. whole letter. When I turned 50, my mother made this book for my birthday called Lisa Ann Auerbach, The Early Years, curated by her mom. And it's images that I made you know, of uh, weavings and drawings I made as a child. This one's, I think, interesting because it's a black and white photograph. And I started making black and white photographs when I was around 10, I think. I learned to use the darkroom. And now I teach photography in a darkroom. I teach college students photography. So it, it feels like a lot of the things in this book are very much the things that I'm still doing now in my, in my artistic practice. When you look back at images of art that you made when you were a child, do you actually remember the moment when you were making those objects? Some of them I do, and, and some of them I don't. I very much remember this black and white picture that I took. Um, some of the ones I, of course, don't remember. I still, I, I, this is a cat, um, and I still draw cats in exactly the same way with their sort of their their hind quarter and their tail curling around. So, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to wrap this. Again, thank you very much for being with us today and talking about little Jimmy, who behind you uh, almost looks threatening and huge, but we know he's, we know he's <laughs> hiding, he's tiny and tiny and hiding in a box at home. Uh, so definitely we encourage everyone at home to do just like you did, just like your mom did, is to Preserve, uh, preserve and take good care of the material that the child is doing and to keep them as long as possible in the family archives. And I hope everybody is uh, appreciating your art uh, that you made 40 years ago, but also the ones that you're making today and is going to go and visit your website and your exhibit 
if they can travel. All right. Thank you very much, Lisanne. It was much appreciated uh, to see you today and uh, all the best of the success with uh, your upcoming show. Thank you so much. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye. Thank you.